Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruel for YouTuber that is trying to have you along now by. And today it's time for the second part or second day in my Halloween melt week or my melt week. And I am going to dig in to the holiday palettes from melt that I have. So the first one that I'm going to use is actually this one. This is the Vita palette and this was one of the palettes in the a more eternal collection that came out 2019 if i'm not mistaking a palette <laughs> looks like this so yeah i have used this maybe one time or two times i can't remember maybe it's only been one time and i did a green and yellow eye and one red and orange eye and this palette i thought that I was going to love this palette so much, but apparently I did not. But today I'm actually thinking of doing kind of an orangey red brownish eye. So I just going to prime my eyes and then we get started. And okay, I am going to take this <laughs> this one in my crease and I don't know how dark this color is that I is going to be a surprise and when it comes to melt Melt is really a brand that I want to love because I think they do Cool color stories and uh, yeah, but it's something about their shadows that like We are not super vibing Maybe I shouldn't say that because I haven't used this palette much. I'm going to start with this orange in my crease and we will see how this will look. And these palettes were really popular when they came from Melt because this came at the same time as the Muerte palette. And I think that this Muerte was more popular than the Vita palette. And... Uh, I don't know if this was like the start for Melt for doing like hyped holiday releases. I have never been like that into Melt like before because it has been really hard to get a hold of Melt in Sweden. But then it was um, Beauty Bay that took in Melt and uh, I think... It always could have like order from the US but I think it has been really expensive so yeah Beauty Bay to get melt and I have bought all of my melt palettes from Beauty Bay and I remember with this one I was like Refreshing the site over and over again because they said that it was going to come a special date to Beauty Bay. So I was just like refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and finally it came and I bought two, the both of them like the whole package. And I just don't know why I haven't used these more. Maybe because this shadow is... It's a nice shadow, but I don't think it's like super special. I think like palettes from Melt are more like the whole packaging and like the vibe of the palette that is special and not like individual shadows. But maybe I shouldn't say that because I haven't used Melt that much. Okay, it's now that I am not like 100% sure what I want to do. But I think I actually want to go in with the brown one. This chocolate and take it out here. Don't want to do that. I'm not sure. I don't know how dark this is. I swatched it a little bit and it looked dark but not like super dark. And this is also a shade that I haven't used in this palette. kind of dark and it really feel like I should have a special connection with melt but for some reason I don't 
Okay, I'm not knowing where I'm going with this look, if I'm going to be honest. And I... I was like, okay, I'm going to do a monochromatic red look with this, but like, I don't know if that is possible. So now I'm just doing something. Because what I can remember when I used this palette the first time and like when I saw others use this palette in review, like this sapphire, it's like, if I only take one swipe, it's, okay, it looks good on, but it's nothing like, it's kind of hard pan and I remember when I used it. It is something strange with it. I don't know if you can see if I like swatch it. I have to press really hard and you see like the pigment is... If I'm really digging into shadow... Do you see this? It like fade. Immediately. It's a really really hard... Hard green. And I do remember my struggles with this one and wasn't like happy with it at all, which made me really sad. And why am I showing this now? And this was such a stupid idea because do you know how I look on this arm now? And now it's, I don't know how far in I want to take this. I wish it was like a really deep red shimmer in this one but it's not but I think I'm going to take this red on the rest of my lid yes I'm going to do a whole matte lid I think so okay this shade looks amazing on the brush we'll see it looks really good on the eyes as well what is this look turning out to I have no idea I think this just looks like a mess right now. I'm going to take this a little up in my crease. I'm trying at least. This is not the best brush to blending up in the crease. This is a Sigma Exact Blend. This is one of my favorite like smaller brushes, but not for blending up in my crease. But yeah, it's working. What is this for kind of look? I have no idea. I do not know what I'm doing. This is not what I did plan with this palette. But like, okay, if I'm going to be honest, I didn't plan that much. But this wasn't it. And I think I'm collecting some thoughts on this palette actually that I'm going to I'm going to do a, like a little review thing when I have done my look and I have some thoughts for that now. I think this is going to look better when I have my base on as it usually do, but right now I have no idea. And also, if if it looks a little bit patchy, it's not always the eyeshadow's fault. It can also be my eyeshadow base because me and this eyeshadow base were not like super vibing when it comes to matte shadows. Okay, so I will fix my base, my under eyes, and then I come back with a finished look and my thoughts about the palette now using it again after a really long time. This is the finished look for my face. I didn't use Ombra, Adults Only, and Ozone from Nabla. On my watch line, I did use Unz from Colourpop, and on my lips, I took Hanging Rock from Nabla, which is one of my absolute favorite lip liquid lipstick. It is limited edition and this uh, has not been available for super super long. On my eyes I actually did pop this shimmer in my inner corners and okay. I do not have a good day today. I feel like I look like shit. 
Um, yes, so <laughs> backstory. I was taking um, in Sweden you should say fika. I guess in English you say coffee, but I don't drink coffee and neither my friend either. I met a friend and I was like going to get dressed and I thought that I look shit and everything. You know, that kind of day when nothing feels good, like whatever you do, everything feels shit. I have that kind of day, so I don't know if it would have been another day if I would have liked this look, maybe. I don't know. But I'm not like super thrilled about this. And with Melt, what I'm starting to realize now, two palettes in in my Melt week, I don't think I like Melt that much. <laughs> Maybe it's just today, I don't know, but... I... Okay, I also have to like think about that this palette came out almost three years ago. And uh, what's unique now and what was unique three years ago isn't the same thing. And I don't think like this palette is super unique if you look what it is today and the thing that i feel with this one as i feel with all the other melt palettes i have the shades are not because it's not a good consistency they're not like not all the shades are equal good and this was an expensive palette i think i bought it okay could i what are these? $55? I think. And... Uh, yeah. I... I do not know. Like, the shadows are like this brown is good and the orange I have in my crease is good and the red is good and this... This shimmer is good. This is not good. This is... Hard to work with. But like, is it amazing? I actually don't think it is. And I think this is an easy palette to dupe. I think I can dupe it with my singles from Lethal actually pretty easy. So I don't think this is that unique. And I actually think like this has seen better days, this palette. Like the color story and everything. And I know I fell for it because of the theme. Mostly of the female also because it was a really nice palette back then when I bought it. But I actually don't think that this is a palette for me. I am not going to declaring it because uh, it's a holiday palette from Melt. Maybe I should but I'm not. Um, but it's not a palette that I would buy again. And yeah, I guess that that was all for this video. I guess the look is okay, the red is good and the brown is good, but is it really something special? I don't think so. And this is surprising me and I don't know, am I going to feel the same thing about the Moerte palette? Because I think this was more, even more unique when it came out, but if I'm looking at it now, maybe it isn't like that unique and it's itching on my ear. Yeah, we will see tomorrow <laughs> what I will think about this. I hope I am having a better day. I actually was thinking on taking off this makeup and uh, do a makeup with this one, but with my feelings today, I actually don't know. <laughs> but we will see. I do hope that you will like this video. I hope that you like this week. I think this week is going to turn out to something that I didn't thought it was going to be because I am not like super impressed by this palette and I will see how I feel about the Moerte palette. But yeah, I do hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you tomorrow. Bye!